as pale or stands a sign. We must unite to stem the tide. But in the end, we just were a bigger target. We are the last, the dead, the dearly doubted. Stop this. Because the one gray guy, he's got all these points now. He's like up to a 1900. And Jared's desperately trying to wall here. These scouts are ripping to pieces. Just fight the scout with your village. You get three there. You have to wait for backup. But what I suggest is this wall sucks. But he doesn't really have any other options there, no. So I would, I would triple it. Got to triple the wall. I know you're like, what? You got triple the wall, really? <laughs> Watch these guys tear through this wall. Triple the wall, have a chance. The scout really killed one of those? I guess they suck. 30 hit points. With 30 hit points, they, they're gonna die in two of these hits. Ah, uh, the biggest mistake was the gate. Oh my gosh, Jared. What the? Why would you build a gate? All right, rule number one, don't build a gate. I thought he was gonna like chop him. He just let him in. He's building another castle. Or market, sorry. Watch these guys get wrecked. Sit down at speed. They can just, even though it's fast, man. And even though they're, they're supposed to <laughs> aim, they just crush. I know what you're thinking. You're like, alright, yeah, just make archers. I gave him enough time to at least wall. <laughs> Archers and skirms, but they just, they just run around. I mean, unless it's like a choke point like this, and you're just ready and you hit them, where they have to skirt the castle, and you're just waiting there, that'd be great. But best you can outrange them. They only got five, so if you got to make it out, you can just hit them, just keep your distance, and hide behind the walls until you can bulk up. Because 
he does he he doesn't have to build buildings to go up. He's already got a castle. And he does the regicide. That's what he'll do every time. And he just he'll just stay. Um, pretty much, in, I think believe he stays in castle age and just all he needs is golden wood. So he's not. Even, I don't think he's even taking his food. There's no reason for him to. I'd at least have like a couple on farms, but his whole job is just to let <coughs> green boom. And he's just gonna cut through walls. And he's gonna use pizza. This is all they do. I mean, I've never seen them on before, but they just crush. Get walls up, or you gotta. Or you gotta have archers or skirmishers or something. Knights get really crushed by these guys. Elephants will. Buildings will. Fast. He must have saw me passing and he just figured I wasn't even close to getting to him. And he just slows down. I killed my own man, great. Didn't pay attention. And by the time I looked, oh look, I actually got to him. I didn't see that. It actually wasn't as terrible as I remembered it. But still, it's horrible. Three mangonels? I only killed three of them. I lost a bunch of my soldiers too, but they're trash, they're cheap. Speed that back up. He's just devastating, Jared. He's, Jared is like zero economy. Again! Again with the Mega now. so many resources trying to defend my ally. <laughs> the best option is you can catch him off the guard. I get some kills that way, but still. I was also thinking genitoires would be really great, because then you could kind of, you can move quickly place to place, and then you get a lot of bonus attack on them. That, so being Berbers, be a good option to fight them. And they're not going to do so great against the Goths though, I don't think. Like, he's just running on one town center, like 15 villagers, and he's putting out, like, all this crap. And now Green's in here. Finally, Imperial. He's kept us both in castle. I don't know why he ran that all the way down here. Son of a bitch. I'm still trying to, like, kill him up here. Finally. guys on a hill. can't believe it. Green's coming in. Crushed a castle. He's got zero defense. Oh my gosh. It's such a disaster. I should, probably should just let another option you could go with honestly here is just
just hit the Rambai base. He's gonna have nothing. If I just put dudes in there and just like hit his eco, I could probably crush his town center. You know, just pay him back for what he's doing to you. Might as well finish him off. And the last thing he's gonna expect is Green is probably gonna expect early on is enemy hitting his base. Oh Jared, he's dead. He's lost every villager. Don't believe it. All because of dark ponies. He rom by killed his base with a backup of one trap. Now I'm in zero position to fight. Like he's he's definitely not that great of a player. I almost feel like he's not trying. I feel like at this stage he should be at least like have some food. Think about going up to the pure lady and making some villagers. He can be so confident that they're gonna win. So these are fair there. I'm not even upgrading I don't have all my armors, but watch this fight. These are fully upgraded Huskars. For some reason, the frame is they're just they're fast and they're on point. And it's just surprising to me that they do this well, having such little attack and such little health. They've got 30, point, 30 hit points on these guys. They should be like double them. But if you do like, these do really well. Look at those three bodies. See that? Go cramp it, grow. Gosh, I don't even have, I don't even have full attack yet. I don't have full armor. It's like the only interesting thing I did this whole game. Just pump Krampus. Between, between his, because he, he's forced to then switch into champion line. A certain, certain quality and quantity, because more things attacking at once than they do. So they're cheaper. So each one is like you know, each each two of them is kind of like one. Like you know, an attack of sixteen, attacking at the same time. And they're so easy on your population. They come out so fast. I think they're a little underestimated. So.
pack of 18, like how much better you can get. You get a bone, you can get resource and bonus. <laughs> Building attack, but I mean, you need it, really. He just has to stay in castle. Devastating. Two kills Jared got. Because he was facing off against the ponies. Shows like, with two castles and everything he had, that's all he got. And I think one of those kills is a scout. So he killed one dark pony. <laughs> Rombach killed 42 of his men. His entire base. With me, like, doing my best to help him. And he's not that new wrong by this horrible and so if you see these guys just I mean take the challenge see if you can beat them uh, 19 villagers that's all he had whole game ridiculous ridiculous so yeah if you could, maybe you just get a strong feudal army out lots of skirmishers I'm thinking Byzantines might be a good option then or the Berbers those are the two I would rock the Vietnamese could also you know get the bonus HP, but it's not going to matter when they got an attack at 18. Let's see his castle time. 11 minute castle time. 11 minutes. See, mine's 13. The only reason that is is because the, the Malay, they're just double the, double the speed. Like the, the 14, that's just like the standard got a nice Imperial though. Really I felt like his attack was delayed. Like n normally they'll be on their game a lot better than they were. So wall up a lot. Petards and a is gonna come in. Have something. You gotta have military. Towers might work if you want to spend the stone. Just remember they can crush a tower if they get at the base. If they can't hit you, they're going to move on to one of your allies. 